Welcome to day six of our pelvic floor challenge. Today we're going to do our pelvic floor exercises in a squatting position. So if you are a little uncomfortable in a squat, you may need to use some props such as a block or a little blanket. Um, if you are doing the relaxation exercises, you can actually just focus on pelvic floor relaxation in these squatting positions, or you can just have a little look in the description and jump to the time code for relaxation. So we're going to um, start just by me showing you how to use the props. So when you come into a squatting position, your feet should be a little bit wider than hip distance apart. You should be able to sort of balance yourself here. So if you look at me from the side, you'll see that I'm not leaning way forward and I'm not leaning way back. I'm just kind of balanced in the middle and I can rest quite comfortably in this position. Now, um, if you if your heels don't come to the floor, then you can take the blanket underneath your heels and that can make it much easier and even you can see I could even rest my backside on this. But the other um, fix, of course, as well, is if you're really uncomfortable, you can put the block underneath your backside and you can actually allow yourself to sit on the block and to rest. So you're still in a squat, but you're not actually taking a lot of weight in your legs. So it's up to you which position you assume for this. I'm just going to squat. So let's just put these off to one side. So coming into your squatting position, you can bring the backside of your arm onto the inside of your leg, and then you can just press your hands together, and that kind of presses the legs open a little bit, and then just find a position where you can just rest. And from that rested position, we're going to start with an inhalation. And when you inhale, I want you to feel the pelvic floor relaxing, so everything's nice and soft. Now we're going to do only endurance exercises in this position today. So as we've done the previous days, you're gonna hold the marble um, gently in your hand rather than squeezing as hard as you can. So I want you to think of that same, it's an RPE4, so it's not the strongest pelvic floor exercise you'll ever do. It's, a, it's a, an exercise that isn't really gonna switch a lot of other things on, but it's more difficult to do in this position because your body has to work to be here, which means that it's going to be harder for you to reach your pelvic floor. There's lots of other things in the way going on. So let's start with an inhalation to relax the pelvic floor. And then with that nice relaxed pelvic floor, we're gonna exhale and we're gonna take our contraction. Now hold on to the contraction. It's a little bit harder to hold in this position. Um, it's only a gentle contraction. Just notice when you take it, if you feel anything anywhere else. Keep holding on to that contraction. Keep breathing, try to stay relaxed as much as possible. Try not to use a lot of energy in the position. You can place your hands down a little bit if you want to and, and use the props if it's a little bit too much to be here. But just try to hold your contraction. Don't go super hard, just maintain that connection to your pelvic floor. Feel that the sitting bones, the uh, pubic bone and the tailbone are all coming together. You're closing all the openings, everything's lifting up and in a little. So feel the full contraction, but just gently, your belly is still soft. Keep breathing, keep holding, that's it, and relax. So just sit your backside down, just take the knees out in front of you, just hug around your legs. So it can be hard to sit in a squat for a while, um, a little hard for me today. I've just done a really strong yoga class, so. <laughs> but that's okay. Better to do this first thing in the morning before you've done anything else. Okay, we're gonna come again into our squat. And in your squat, again, find your comfort. You can take a little prop. So maybe for this one, I'm gonna take the little blanket and I'll just sit on the little blanket. So I'm still getting that nice opening, but this will feel a little bit different because I'm resting my backside. So. From this position, again, I'm going to take an inhalation, relaxing the pelvic floor, and then take the contraction. And again, not the strongest contraction in the world. Keep inhaling and exhaling, and hold on to that contraction. Remember, we're working for endurance here, so keep holding, keep holding, keep breathing. Try to be soft. If you're resting, just notice your sitting bones, but feel the connection between the sitting bones. So feel that you're lifting and gently squeezing on the pelvic floor. Don't do anything too hard. Notice how it feels around your hips as you do this. Keep holding, keep holding. 
and relax. Okay, so again, take the legs together, just hug around the legs. And if you're doing the relaxation, just keep allowing everything to feel open in this position. So this can feel a little bit challenging <laughs> if you're if you're not used to squats it can be very hard and to reach your pelvic floor when all these other muscles are firing is quite hard so this is the last round so again you can decide if you're going to come up or if you're going to sit down i'll come up for this one so again and also you can have the blanket under your heels if you need it so find your nice position your nice squat go a little bit wider if you want and then relax the pelvic floor as you inhale then take the contraction so we're going to hold the contraction so hold and keep holding now it might start to shake a little that's okay just hold and try to keep holding try not to let go try to just keep that holding make sure you're holding around the back side as well as the front side feel the sitting bones moving towards each other feel the tailbone and the pubic bone moving towards each other feel everything gently lifting up and if it's a little shaky, that's okay. Try to keep holding, keep breathing, keep everything else as relaxed as you can and relax. Okay, sit down and give everything a little squeeze. <laughs> All right, so that's the pelvic floor exercise strengthening section for today. So we're still, we're not going crazy. We're taking it kind of easy. And then we're going to go for a wall squat for our um, relaxation exercise. So here you get to do the squat, but with everything nicely relaxed. So I'm going to come around this side actually. So when we do this, you wanna take the blanket nice and close to the wall in preparation for coming up into that yoga squat. And then you want to sit as close to the wall as you can get. So you want to be nice and tight so that when you come into the wall squat, your backside is already right up against the wall. So come all the way up, come to kind of the edge of the blanket, lean down. And then you're going to come all the way so that the backside is tied up against the wall and then take the feet down. And now in this position, you wanna just try to relax. So you can hold the legs if you need to, um, stop them from opening out too much, but you can see that my feet are just resting very gently. So I'm not really doing a hell of a lot in this position. And I'm going to let my arms come out and then I'm going to start to take an inhalation and an exhalation. As you inhale, Feel the expansion of the pelvic floor. As you exhale, just allow the whole body to become heavy. So I want you to imagine the opening. Feel the sense of opening as the pelvic floor gets to stretch in this position. So as you're lying here, you're not having to use any energy in comparison to that last squat. This is really easy. You might still feel a little compression in the hips, but the knees aren't taking any weight, the ankles aren't taking any weight, and the pelvic floor doesn't have to work. If you want to try to do a pelvic floor contraction here, you can do so also. If, for example, you weren't able to, to feel your pelvic floor in the squatting position, you can do this one instead. So it's up to you if you want to try that now, but otherwise you're just gonna keep relaxing. And as you relax, allow the weight of your body to feel really heavy. Try to surrender all of the tissues in your body so you're not holding anything anywhere. Just imagine that your legs are just hanging out there. They're no, no longer under your control, allowing your head to be heavy, your shoulders to be heavy, allowing everything to be really heavy. And noticing how the pelvic floor slowly expands as you relax in this position. And then we're going to bring a little energy back into the hands. We're going to take the legs and draw them in together and just give the legs a little squeeze in this position. And coming out of this position sometimes is a little bit interesting because you're very close to the wall. So you have to swing the legs around. And up you come. There we go. So that is our little workout for today. I hope that you were able to feel your pelvic floor contraction in that squatting position. It is hard, do bear with it. And if you're working on relaxation, keep letting go. And I hope that you have a really wonderful day and I will see you again tomorrow.